Ready, go. Okay, ready, go. So you're moving the club head slightly toward the target. So I lifted it up and then slightly toward the target and then bring it up. So this is top of your backswing. The transition from backswing to downswing is too quick. Okay. So before this is uh, matured, mm -hmm. you go up, you're pulling it down. Okay. So that's why it's all uh, upper body driven swing. I, I played golf and then I played 30 years of racquetball, mm. right arm, you know, and I screwed up my golf swing. So yeah, wow. yeah absolutely. Yeah, I played the racquetball a lot, so. Okay, uh, so you know the. Mm. Yeah, and then from here, just you're hitting the ball like this okay. without any support from the legs. So more than anything, the rushed downswing and then it's an all arm motion here. Okay. In the down the line view. Yeah. So you're not allowing yourself to, uh, you know, mature the back swing and then quickly coming down. Okay. So what we need to do is, um, when you have more time up there. Okay. And then with that, you should be able to use your, your legs better on the way down. So we'll uh, focus on that. Right. So in order to use the legs uh, in, in more, you should be able to dance. Okay. So keep your arms here. And then let's dance with me. And uh, so we'll, what we'll practice is the so-called shun rhythm, shift turn rhythm. So always uh, in one direction, when you move, always uh, shift first and then turn. Okay. For example, if you're going this way, then shift uh, is without turning, just a shift. Oh. Give you enough shift. Yeah. Okay. Here, the upper body should be uh, still upright. Okay. And then here, then bend the, the knee a little bit. Right. So in other words, as you shift, you are dropping this side, going to this position. And then by pushing the ground with the leg, with that you're turning the body. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do the same thing to this side. So once the body is turned this way here, just a shift and then push and turn. And then shift this way here, oh, without opening the body. Yeah, shift first and then by pushing in the turn and then shift here, push and turn. So this is, this is what should happen. So again, let's continue this. So uh, make this continuous. This way, this way, this way, this way. Push and turn, 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 push and turn. Now put the arms down and then I will w monitor your motion <laughs> using the monitor there. So now we'll throw the arms both ways. Okay. So shift and then turn this way, shift and turn, shift and turn. And just reach out about this high, okay. your shoulder height. Okay? Right. So let's uh, shift both ways. Uh, bring your hands down. So left, right, left, right, left, right. And then here, relax your arms. And then you are just uh, throwing the arms out. Okay. Okay? And then the gravity will bring it down. Let the arms go. So no need to do this. Just to throw, then throw, throw. Okay. Again, starting from the left, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Aha, here. The timing is slightly off, so what happens in your case, body goes here and the arms goes here, body goes and arms goes here. Instead, you are throwing the end of the fingers here, okay. that way. So by using the body motion, you have to promote this motion here. Okay. So instead of this motion here, oh, yeah. 
then so using the arms, throw the arms in the hands. More with the shoulders in, is it? Yeah, so you, you have to. Uh, the, when the pelvis turns too early, then this happens. So I will relax here, relax here. So go here and then throw, 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 throw. yes. I feel like I'm more forward too. Mm. Yeah. Uh, start the, you started the weaving here. So just throw, 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 and then no need to move your pelvis oh, like see. this, okay? Yeah. Just the shift and then push, shift and 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 push, instead of going like this. <laughs> no, no figure in the action, okay? okay? Throw, 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 throw. Yeah, the key is the hand motion. Throw, 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 throw. Throw, yes. So now your body is really helping the upper, upper body to move. Okay. So the target motion is throwing the arms this way, throwing the arms this way. So you have to use the body to secure that motion. Okay, so I'm. Like this, like this, instead of. Exactly, am I, am, am I I'm kind of doing that? You did have that, uh, okay. but now it's, it's getting better. So. Okay. Your goal is just to throw out, throw out. So the bottom line is uh, what you have to get rid of is the pelvis is just sliding like this okay. or sliding like this. Okay. So you have to just uh, throw the whole thing. Mm, 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 like this. So then, then, if you have to throw the arms this way, yeah. the left leg is pushing, so the left hip is going up with that throw. Okay. Now the right hip is going up and then throw, throw, throw. Time it, yes. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Kick the leg, kick, 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 yes. So this is the motion. So then, you so know, I'm moving the hips. I must have been moving them back a little bit. Huh? You you are uh, sliding like this, but uh, you know, in order to promote this draw, yeah. you need to have good support from this side. Okay. Push and then turn the body. This pushing action brings the hip up and slightly backward. Okay. Using that, you are turning here, you are turning here, turning here, turning here, okay. instead of. Yeah. Mm. So when this happens. Low body motion does not quite help the upper body motion, so they, they are on their own. I'm kind of swaying, you're doing something weird. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, particularly, so the difference between shift and the slide, yeah. slide you go like this. Okay. Shift, the whole body is going, and then push up, push up. And that's, so just to have the feel of, um, so when you're going this way, yeah. that this side is kind of straightened. Yeah. When you go this way, the this side will be straight. Yeah, straight. Stretch here, stretch here, stretch here, stretch here, stretch here, stretch here. And also, the, the image that will help is um, you have to turn your shoulders, right? Both ways. Instead of, uh, so just to try to think, if you are turning this way, yeah. then try to throw this shoulder, this arm out here. Mm -hmm. okay. And then when you turn that way, then throw the right shoulder and the right arm out. So out here, out here. <laughs> so we have a tendency of uh, going here. This is okay, but you have to pulling this right arm down. Yeah. But instead of go here, throw the left arm out. So instead of... Uh, Lifting this right arm and try to hit the ball. Yeah. yeah. Put the left shoulder in, and then by throwing the left shoulder and the left arm, you will be able to let it go. Yeah. So both ways, we're throwing out, out, 
out, out, out, out, out. Yeah, this motion, this upper body turn is promoted by the lower body action. Okay. <laughs> so now uh, we'll do this. So we'll swing back and forth to the arms, yeah. and I'll start counting. One, two, three, wind up, and swing. Okay. okay. So let's swing back and forth. So swing, swing, swing. Use the legs more actively. Swing. One, two, three, wind up, swing. So both ways, both ways. You are throwing the arms out and out instead of pulling it down, pulling it down. Take the right arm, it's actually taking the right arm out of it, kind of. So let it go and then let it go here. Let it go instead of try to do this. That's it. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So when this happens, then you'll be able to really move the clip head around your body. Yeah. Throw this way, all the way. Swing this way, all the way. Swing this way, all the way. Instead of quickly try to pull it down. Okay. So the goal, goal in the back swing is give a good shoulder wind up yeah. and go as much as you can. Yeah, this is the, the goal of the back swing. Shoulder down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The left shoulder goes in that way and have enough turn here, and the, you have to have enough time here. Yeah. Then when your body is ready to go, then execute the downswing. Instead of quickly coming down like this, yeah. instead of try to go in this way. Mm, swing. Okay. Yeah. Swing, swing, swing. So when you turn the upper body, yeah. so waist and above, this is uh, the upper body unit. Yeah. So the upper body mainly turns, but the lower body shifts. And then using these muscles here, try to turn the whole upper body unit, turn like this. Your kind of core muscles there? Mm -mm. Core muscles and the leg muscles and leg muscles the, the muscles. hip muscles, yeah. Using the lower body muscles and yeah. core muscles, you will turn the whole upper body complex. One of the things you, you were saying about pushing off, well, you push off on the inside of the foot too, is that? And you don't have to worry about okay. that. Yeah. Turn, using the leg, turn, throw, throw, throw. Throw. So essentially, what's driving the whole upper body is the lower body here. Okay. So now, oh, and then also, image that you have uh, two switches here. Yeah. And you're turning and then touch the switch, turn and touch the switch, turn and touch the switch, turn and touch the switch. And then as you touch the switch, yeah. you have to push the ground with the leg and then reach out. Swing and then reach out, swing and reach out. Use the leg. Yeah, stand on the left side, stand on the right side, stand on the left side, right, left, reach out, reach out, touch the switch, touch the switch. Yes. So that way, you can use the leg to promote this motion here. But if the pebble slides, yeah. drop it here, then this motion and this motion are not really compatible. Okay? Right. So that's, a, that's the shun dance. Now, let's go to the rope swing. Okay. Uh, this is always true, but um, in golf swing, the goal is to move the end of the device around your body whether it's the club or the orange whip or the rope here. So in order to do that, you have to give enough speed to the rope both ways. Good wind up here in a swing. 
swing, swing. In doing this, try to make the arc really big. Okay. So when you turn this way, mm -hmm. come up with a good big arc here, okay. and then let the rope go all the way. And on the way down, big arc on this side, let the rope go all the way. Then what will happen is, after this, the rope goes here, under your armpit. Okay. And it will go around your body. Wait until this happens. And then throw, it will come here. Wait until this happens. Throw, throw here. But again, in your image, you're making big arc okay. using the rope. Instead of quickly try to turn the body. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. So now, what the difference is, as you are swinging this way. And then the body is going up here, and yeah. then drop, and then let it go. So you have this up, up motion. So again. So if it's up and then come down, then back So up. in order to use the ground really well, yeah. you must have both up and down motion and the lateral motion. Okay. So don't try to uh, limit your body motion. Okay? okay. Try to move the body as naturally as possible. Swing, swing, swing. Now let's increase the speed a little bit. Swing both ways. Yes. Both ways. Yes. Oh, the speed is really good. Now, the speed is really good, but when the rope goes here, yeah. you have to have a bit more time. Wait. So the rope motion should be fast enough, but at the transition, mm -hmm. You need to have a bit more time. So imagine you are pushing a, a, a swing. Mm -hmm. Then you have to wait until the swing comes all the way here, and then push. Come and then push instead of try to yeah, I'm dominate this. it, right? Yeah. Okay. So wait until the back swing is completed, and then go to the downswing. Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. So the key here is if you want to swing hard, instead of using the arms and quickly try to pull it down, yeah. rather give a good wind up here. Okay. When you have good wind up, particularly pushing the ground with the right push. leg, push and the good wind up, this will give you active downswing. Okay. So downswing speed is coming from your body action toward the end of the back swing. Okay. Instead of trying to use the arms to try to pull it down. Again. Give good good speed to the rope. Give good speed to the rope. And they have more time at the end. Swing. Swing a bit faster. Motion should be faster. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Swing. Swing. Yeah. That. That makes good um, back swing. You can have a bit more time at the top, but um, if you look at now, the body motion, mm -hmm. your lower body is a lot more active. Oh, the, yeah. The legs are a lot more active. So this is your... Yeah. You can see that you're using the arms quite a bit. Eh? Right? Yeah. Yeah. You're rushing, but now, with this rhythm... Oh, yeah. Now mm. I can see it. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> The, the rhythm is a lot better. Yeah, no, I see it. It's funny because you know I've I've looked at your videos and I've tried to do it, but I I knew I wasn't getting it. So the motion should be fast enough, but yeah. with that could wind up. So I have more time here, and then let it go fast, and then more time up here, okay. going back. When you allow this time, mm -hmm. then your body automatically mm -hmm. moves, and then you will have better condition to use your body. But if you don't have enough time just to try to reverse the direction yeah. using the arms, yeah. the legs are passive, and then it's all, all uh, arms. Yeah. Yeah, now try to swing really hard both ways, really actively. Mm 
fast motion but good transition time. Swing, yes. 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 Swing. Keep going. This is good. This is good. Swing. This is good. Swing. Active back swing. Swing. Active back swing. Ride the rhythm. Ride the rhythm. Swing. Yes. You see? When your body rides the rhythm, the downswing also becomes quite active. So instead of uh, relying on your arms, yeah. we, you have a lot bigger muscles here. Right, the arms mm. screw up. The so the speed is mainly coming from the bigger muscles. Okay. And the arms are mainly working on the direction control. Then you will have a good uh, roll sharing. But if the upper body has to do both, uh -huh. you know, speed generation and the direction control, yeah. then it's too much burden on the upper body. Okay. Yeah. So, so now what I see is that during the back swing, you're standing on the right side yeah. and then let it go. Right side and then let it go. This is the key. Okay. In the back swing, you have to use the right leg. Really good standing up on it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then stand tall on the right side and then wait and let it go. Right side and then let it go. That can be kind of my cue for it. Always the key is uh, how, you, how well you use your right leg in the back swing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Very good. Yes. So now let me watch from this direction and then record this. So this is uh, your last rope swing. Swing, swing, stand on the right side, tall swing, swing, swing. Yep. I thought it was a swing, 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 swing. I'm not swinging. Not much. Yeah, so the, the body is doing the most of work. And you can have a bit more time up here, uh -huh. but um, yeah, this is a, a lot better. So this versus um, this swing. Yeah. You're going, going only this much and try to swing right. with oh, the arms. Right, I see it, yeah. yeah. And if I get it back far enough, it has no choice but to do the right swing. Mm -hmm. So when you increase the size of the back swing, the good wind up, mm -hmm. you will have more time naturally. Mm. So uh, here's the, the issue. In order to develop sufficient speed, yeah. you need both time and acceleration. Because acceleration times time is the change in velocity. Okay. So in order to quickly uh, increase the speed, then you have to have uh, high acceleration and also enough time. Okay. Now, if your backswing goes uh, smaller, if this is uh, limited, then you don't have uh, that long path here. So acceleration time decreases. Then in order to generate enough speed, you have to accelerate like a crazy, right? Yeah. But when you have a large range of motion, mm -hmm. you have more time here. So even with the, the same acceleration, in the end, you, ha you will have a higher speed. So okay. if you, you don't want to put the additional effort, uh -huh. then just increase the range of motion. When you have a, a runway, mm -hmm. okay, sh a, a long enough runway, then you can use just one engine and then uh, start and the lift, right? But if you have a really short one, yeah. one engine may not be enough. Then you have to turn on the booster engine and then really try to accelerate. Right. But that puts a lot of burden on the body. Yes. So by increasing the range of motion, make the vaccine bigger. Yeah. Mm, and instead of rushing down, yeah. wait. And then so uh, the muscles will be elongated. Okay? The 
the muscles here, um, up here the as you go here, as you have a good wind up here, yeah. then the muscles will be elongated. Then you are in, in the condition where you can easily generate large, yeah. large force using the muscles. And then so we here, stand the tall on the right side and then wind up and then let it go. So the swing comes up and then let it go. So more than anything, you have to increase the range of motion okay. of the body. So uh, if you cut it short, yeah. then you have a lot of uh, issues. Then in order to overcome that, you have to put a lot of effort. Yeah. That puts more burden on the body. Okay. So uh, don't forget to take this rope with you. The next is uh, the orange whip. Okay. We'll swing this like um, uh, a rope, okay? okay? So swing back and forth. Uh, let's do this. Hold the, the center of the grip here. If you okay. go to the end, it will be too difficult. So yeah, choke up a little bit. Swing back and forth. Swing, swing, yes. Very good. Now, now what I see is that you are really using the lower body. The timing is not that. right. Yeah. Now the timing is right. So okay. uh, you let it go and then let it go instead of. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you don't have to swing hard with this, but again, using the lower body promotes uh, the whip motion. Swing, 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 yes. Swing, swing, very good, yeah. Um, so this is the idea. Once you develop good overall pattern uh -huh. with the rope, then this will put a bit more burden on your body, but still you can maintain similar yeah. pattern. Okay? So uh, the rope is a good tool. Okay. And then uh, find something similar to that. Yeah, I have a longer one that I never liked. The longer one is too long to me. So the mid size is the, yeah. the best one. Yeah. So let's uh, swing it again. I will record this. Okay. Swing, feel the, feel the motion of the end of the whip, ride the rhythm, ride the tight, swing, swing, swing. Yeah. The swing plane is now quite consistent both ways. It's funny, I feel wild. You know? Yeah, it's because it's a heavier and then it's a flexible. Yeah. So you have a, um, instability there. But uh, when, you have, when you give enough time here, then that's okay. You will be able to control this. Now, I will uh, record this uh, from this side. Okay. And the one thing you want to pay attention to is um, at the end of back swing, try to uh, minimize the bending. Okay. When you have a lot of bending here, yeah. that means uh, Yes, it wants, the whip wants to go this way, and you're forcing it in the opposite direction. So it bends quite a bit. So just uh, at the end, just, yeah. just uh, you know, hold it there so that it can nicely well, slow down. Here, you just want it to, there's no bend right there. So let it go, swing, and then oh. let, let the motion mature. Okay. okay. Instead of try to quickly try to bring it down. All right, that's okay. Yeah, so always your thought should be, Minimizing the bending of okay. the whip here. Yeah. You have nice, nice deceleration and then finish this and then let it go instead of yeah. quickly coming down. So give a bit more time and then the best is to minimize the bending okay. at the top. Okay, ready, go. Minimize the bending at the top. Swing, 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 okay. Yeah, so the key is, because this is a bit flexible, so you can check the bending, the, the degree of bending, see whether you are rushing okay. or having enough time. Yeah, I got you, yeah. With the club, it's a bit different because it's a, a, a lot more rigid than uh, the whip here. 
So you have to really let it go. The tr try to drop the clavicle a little bit okay. instead of just holding it, stopping it you with here. Continue just to let it mm. go back. So this one, because it'll bend to a certain extent, yeah. so it's easy to swing and then let it go. Go here and then let it go. This motion is uh, possible. But with the, the club, you may have to move the hands a bit higher here and then go enough down here. Now, swing the club back and forth as if uh, you're holding a rope or an orange whip. No need to swing hard, but try to feel the overall flow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in the back swing, using the momentum of the club, yeah. throw and then make a big arc on this side, throw and then let it go all the way here, okay. instead of just stopping here. Oh. So pay attention to the motion of the club head. The, the main goal is to run the club head around your body nicely and then develop speed and then let it go. So more than anything, you have to pay attention to the motion of the club head. Using the moment, momentum of the back swing, let it go. Mm -hmm. Yep. So both ways, you are throwing out, you are throwing out and out, right? So instead of go here and then pulling, throw out all the way and then throw out all the way. Mm -hmm. So when, it, when you uh, throw it out, then it will automatically make a big arc and then go around your body here. Yeah. From here, your goal is, instead of here. Yeah. Mm. And that's, if I, I can lead that with the opposite. Mm. So always the image is, uh, you, you have to deal with the entire downswing here. From here, yeah. the downswing, including the follow through. So instead of putting just here, effort just here. Okay. When you pull, yeah. it's because you, in your image, all you have is from here to the impact. Yeah. You're only paying attention to this side here. And then you try to put a lot of effort from the beginning. Yeah. But go up here and then make a big arc and go around here. Then you'll have less of pulling here. And then drop and then throw. So big arc in the back swing. The big arc on the right side and the downswing on the left side. Swing, swing, swing. And then, so as you do, the whole rhythm should be driven by the leg actions instead of this motion here. Okay? So, when you go back swing, push the ground with the right leg, push here on the way down, push this one, push the right leg, push the left leg, push the right leg, push the left leg. So the, the entire rhythm is driven by the leg push instead of this motion here. Yeah. Stand on the left side, stand on the right side. On the right side, let it go. Stand on the right side, swing. Stand on the right side, swing. So it all depends on how well you use your right leg mm -hmm. in the back swing. That changes a lot of things. Okay? And then I have to go up on more than I am doing. I think currently the size is good. Good? The yeah, back swing size is good. But you don't just stop and try to quickly bring it down. Mm -hmm. Let it go. By pushing the ground, let it go. It, it, is it identical to the, are both moves identical? Not perfectly, because uh, the speed of yeah. downswing is a lot faster than the, okay. that of uh, backswing. Yeah. So that means it's, uh, the back, downswing is a lot more active. So you cannot have a completely a symmetric motion. But in your image, at least you do something similar both ways although the effort level may be different. I've seen when you are, are doing that, they look like, it looks very identical. Yeah, so just the, when you repeat the swing back and forth, you, yeah. can, you can have a fairly similar motion both ways. Okay. But in the actual swing, obviously, mm, and then swing, downswing is a lot faster. Okay. Yeah. 
So now, uh, let's move on to uh, the two-step swing drills. Okay. Uh, in your case, uh, let's start with the stage one. Right. See if uh, you can do this. So fit together, right. and then throw the club toward the target. Right. In doing this, you have to actually turn your body instead of just using the arms. And then let it go like this. Okay. Because the, what matters is the club head motion. So try to promote the good clevet motion. But if you are doing the trigger motion like this, yeah. then you are suppressing the clevet motion. Okay. So promote good the clevet motion. So from here, fit yeah. together, throw here, and okay. toward the end of the trigger motion, okay. take one step away, right. and then turn around the right hip, and then backswing. Okay. Toward the end of the backswing, you have to take toward the step, and then swing. So away step first, and the toward the step. This is first. Mm. The second step was late. Mm -hmm. And then now, the, the way we take the step is, imagine when you walk uh, forward, yeah. you don't Walk like this, right? Right. You don't reach out, but you just let the body go, and then take the step. Okay. Side step the same. Okay. Instead of going like this, ah. you just let the body go. Okay. If you let the body go, then automatically you'll take the step. So here's the idea. Toward the end of the trigger motion, yeah. push, then push the ground with the left leg. With that push, you are promoting this lean on this side, mm, if you lean, the right knee will be bent, right? Yeah. Mm, and then with this, you have now create the condition where you can easily push the ground with the light, right leg. Okay. So what's really important is, is throw and then leaning to the right. So from here, mm, by leaning, you are taking this step. And also, in the, down, uh, in the back swing, push the ground well with the right leg push and then lean this way okay. toward the end of the back swing. So this step yeah. should be done at the end of this turn. So I, as I'm going there, it's already... No, 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 it's too early. That's too early. So when it's uh, slowing down, uh -huh. close to the, the apex here, when you slow down and then you introduce this motion. Okay. So turn and then shift to here. Okay. And then also turn and shift to here. By pushing the ground, you'll be able to take the step. So in order to shift it this way well, you have to use this leg to push. In order to shift it this way, you have to push the ground this way using this leg. Uh, the step is too early. So you have to really, you have to really load onto the left side. Using the left leg, you're introducing the right step. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. So you're going like this. Okay. He said, remember reaching out here, oh. reaching out. So throw this way and then leaning the body backward and then take a step. Like this? And then take a step. Okay. Yes, yes. So the step is coming from slight leaning. Leaning backward, take a step, and then leaning this way, a step. Mm -hmm. Again. And then in the back swing, use the right leg more actively so that you can easily take uh, the toward step. The, back, the backward step is really good. Okay, swing. Now increase the level of effort. Active trigger and active back swing. So in the back swing, you are again stopping here. Let it go all the way. All the, way. So the main purpose of the trigger motion is to promote the active back swing. Okay. So here, mm, mm, all the way. And then have more time. So still your right leg is not, you are not really standing on the right side okay. enough. So here. Mm, mm, 
So here, it's a BJ sing. Exaggerated BJ. Again. Ah, uh, rushed, 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 the rushed here. So the whole purpose of the backswing is keep active backswing. Yeah. Mm, and then have enough time here. No rush. All right. so still, the second step, you need to use the right leg I'm not, better. I need, I'm not pushing off. Not enough. So, okay. mm, mm. Okay. Yeah. Mm, mm. Mm -hmm. Now, let's, let me record the stage one and then move on to stage two. So, um, okay, stage one. Ready, stage one, oh, just a second. Okay, ready, stage one, go. Okay, ready, stage one, go. The, in the back swing, you are not loading enough to the right leg. Okay. So down swing is uh, more arm driven here. This. So here. You are reaching out. This step is just reaching out here. And so I, I need to be, as I'm getting loading up, I also have Yes, yes, you way. have to shift it that way. Okay. Then naturally you will take this step. Yeah. And then you can easily That's kick this. But if you are still, most of the force on this side here, and then just try to reach out here, you have to use the arms. Yeah, it, you know, um, I mean, I, that's the way I've, I've done golf forever, mm -hmm. I think, probably on that right yeah. side. As you can see here. The, the, the time you're taking this step, yeah. still most of the body is still on this side here. Yeah. And this step has to come from this shift motion and then naturally here, okay. instead of reaching out like this. Oh, yeah. mm. That's why uh, you have to use the arms. Yeah. So again, okay. both ways try to lean in the opposite direction. So here, lean this way. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That will give you a lot easier motion because uh, then you don't have to use the arms that much. Uh, 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 try to lean that way in the downswing before the downswing starts. So at the, at the, oh, yeah. at, at the end of the backswing, I want to have this, yeah, yeah. So go to that uh, reverse pill push. Mm -hmm. So using the trigger motion. Mm. Mm. Okay. You did not take the step because from the beginning you were loaded onto this side here. You're going directly here. It's hard to take this step. So first you should have a load on this side and then take this step here. So it's a bit different. Stack and, in stack and tilt. Yeah. It's directly going this way. That's the difference between stack and tilt and what you're doing? Mm. I was going to ask you that. So first uh, push using the right leg, push, and then take this step. So although it looks like your body is uh, leaned this way slightly, mm -hmm. it's coming from this leg action and then taking this step. But so whether you can take the second step or not, that's a big difference. Okay. It's stack and tilt because uh, in the backswing, you're loading onto the left side here. Yeah. You cannot move this. I got you. So, and here. so uh, both ways, this is the, the same idea, but the, even from the beginning, the yeah. first step, yeah. you 
throw this and then you have to shift first yeah. before you take step. So, mm, and then when you lean the body or try to drop this side. Okay. You can have the weight on it. Mm, and then if you drop this side, mm, and then drop this side, then you can push hard. Okay. Push hard and then drop this side and then let it go. So you need to have a more active leg action. So all you need to in the downswing, in the backswing, you just throw it. Okay. Then let the club go around your body. Then you don't have to worry about the club motion. So from, from here, yeah. shifting to the right, and you turn around the right leg, yeah. let it go all the way. So you don't have to worry about this. Let it go and then go to this position here. Yeah. You have to oh, okay. lean. If I do the backswing right, mm. I'm OK. I can. Yeah. So no need to manipulate the club. Just to give enough speed to the club, and it'll go around. Ah, rush it, rush it, rush it. So particularly at the end of the backswing, if your upper body is leaning this way, yeah. then you always rush because you will not be able to go any further. Your body is leaning this way, then you have to use your arms. But if you go to a reverse peer posture here, yeah. lean this way, yeah. then you have more room here, and then just swing. Oh, the trigger, the trigger is too small. The trigger is too weak. You're you just using this arms here. Yeah. Mm. Using the leg, push, and then shift. So it's, in the end, it's, it all comes down to where, how you use the legs. For sure. So that push is OK, but if you stay here, yeah. it's hard to take this step. So push and then lean. Oh, I see. OK. Then it's easier to turn this way. Yes. Yeah, then it's a lot easier to turn to the right side. The same thing on this side. So imagine you are running the club around your body. Yeah. Make a big arc here. Then Mm. Mm. Swing. Mm. 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 Swing. So if you let the club head go around your body with a big arc here, it it's up. easier to uh, go to a reverse pair posture. But if you manipulate this, just try to lift this up, oh. then <laughs> you lean that way. Okay. So let it go around your body. Now, here's the idea. Try to move the club really fast, okay. as we did uh, in the rope swing. Move it really fast. Okay. So, mm, enough time mm, here, yeah. then fast the back swing. Okay. Give me uh, the fastest swing, back swing you can have. Uh, it's not that fast. Back swing is not fast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No need to put a lot of effort in the downswing. I'm asking you to have a really active backswing. Okay. So forget about the downswing. Okay. Just to try to have an active backswing gotcha. motion. Okay. And let the clip head go as much as possible. Okay. So f by using, by taking advantage of the trigger motion, yeah. from this position, really active backswing. Mm -hmm. That's better, that's better. Again, still, uh, you can go faster. So using this motion here, yeah. you have to load onto the left side and then go actively here. 
So if you cannot actively turn in the vaccine, that means that you are still not using the legs enough. Yeah, so the whole purpose of taking step is to promote that. So you, what we just did is right here. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, no need to intentionally do this. Oh. That you that should come from good shifted this way here. Okay. Again, so you have to use this leg and then push and then push and then come here. Push. That's it. Yeah. Push, and then when you move the body laterally, okay. then automatically you have the step. Yeah. yeah. And then, so in that process, as you shift, as you shift, drop this side. Mm -hmm. mm, if you drop this side, that then helps. it's easy to kick. Uh, the step was a bit earlier. So yeah. step go and then you, you pulled it. Yeah, this, all you need is just uh, throw and then it will slow down because of the gravity. Mm, and then let it go. It looks like it should be easy. Both, both ways, the goal is to promote the good clubhead motion here, right? Yeah. Clubhead motion. So if your step goes too early, yeah. then what happens is it doesn't go until it's ready. And then pull the arms here. Yeah. Instead, so I, uh, come up with the timing, the right timing, so that you don't have to pull it down. Okay. Mm, just to turn. Turn the body instead of pulling the arm down. Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. The step went too early and then, yeah. In, this is similar to uh, this motion here. Yeah. Your club is not ready to go down, but you already tried to uh, okay. go down. That's why you're pulling. Okay. Mm, wait until this is uh, matured and then let it go. Okay. So the, in terms of the club head motion, it's a continuous motion. Mm, mm, swing, it's continuous motion. Then here you are adding the step here, but still, as far as the clever motion is con concerned, yeah. it's the same continuous motion. There's no motion until it's. Yeah. Uh, uh, and also, when you shift that way, yeah. do not turn. Okay. Just a shift only. Mm, shift only. And then turn. Because you are, sh you are turning a bit earlier, that's why you're pulling. That's better. That's better. That timing is better. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Hey. When you hold it really. Relax the way here, okay? Yeah. That means you cannot force, uh, stay on this side. The camera is right there. When you hold it this way, you yeah. cannot really force the club. Yeah. Currently, if you are doing like this, then this happens. Okay. But if you wait and then give the right timing, this happens. The goal is to promote club head motion by using the body motion instead of like this. Yeah. This is the clip head motion is the key. Timing should be all coming from the clip head motion. Relax and then feel the, feel the motion of the clip head. Re relax your wrist a little bit. Feel the motion of the clip head. That's better, yeah.
if, uh, the step was a bit uh, too early. The, 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 the trigger motion too big. Okay. So keep, keep the trigger motion about this height. Okay. About here. If you go that way, the timing issue happens. So bring the clip about this high. This high. Mm. Mm, it's getting bigger, bigger, bigger. Oh, no, no, it's, it's big, getting bigger. You're going like this. Keep the clip head about this high here. Mm. Wait until, wait until this is completed and then let it go. Instead what of, doing? Doing? step oh, first and then try to pull it down. Okay. So, mm. The club motion should come from the shoulder turn, not your arm action. Okay. Try to turn the shoulder yeah. to drive the club. So uh, using the trigger motion, you have, should have a good body turn. And then using the body turn, you are bringing it back. Yes, like that. Yes. That's it. And then keep enough, uh, large enough back swing from there. I mean, you are not using the right leg that well. So here, so from here, this timing is now getting better. Yeah. But here, and then as you turn the body, yeah. turn and push the right leg instead of just turn and then try to go down here. Yeah. No, I, I know. Push and then go to reverse pivot posture. So let's go to top of action. Okay. Let's go to top of action. Yeah, go to the top of action. Here, go to top of action. Go to this position here. No need to, no need to hold this tight here. Yeah. You are wasting a lot of uh, energy here. Oh. Let it go here and go to the reverse pivot posture here. This is your target position. Okay? Yeah. Then from here, when you start, you can use the muscles here. But because you don't let it go and stop about here, yeah. that's why you are using the arms. Again, give me that reverse pivot posture. Bring the club enough in the back swing. Mm. And then let it go. So connect everything. Ah, this time you, you stopped here. So that, okay, let's go to stage three. Okay. No step. Okay? No step. No step is the same thing. Trigger. Trigger. Your goal is to keep good wind up here. Yeah. Okay? Do not go this way, holding tightly here. Okay. Rather, feel the motion of the club head here. Let the club head go around your body. You should be able to see the head on this side. Again, the key is the clever motion. Mm. Turn it around. Move it around here and then swing back. Keep enough back swing so that you can see the head on the left side. So relax your body to a certain extent. Yeah. Your, your body is too tight now, and particularly at, at the top. Ah, here, here. Still, when you let it go, yeah. it's just the, you're easing the wrist here and then yeah. try to let it go here. Your body is not turning enough. Okay. Your body is not going to reverse pivot posture enough. Still, body is here, but you just try to, okay. to do this and then swing. Again. Yeah, go to the top, go to the top, and then let it go enough, this position here. 
Ooh, ooh, no need to, no need to uh, put a lot of effort here. Okay? Not just the, just the using the momentum. There's something I'm, my back is, I'm, it should hmm. be here. Yeah. So using the momentum, let it go and then go to this position here. Instead of. Ah, I see. Okay? So you are, you're always in this position instead of going this way. Yeah. When you go here, the pebbles will move away more. Yeah, you have to uh, get rid of that barrier. It's uh, inhibiting uh, your motion. So in order to do that, yes, in order you to do that, you have to really use the momentum of the club. So that's why we have trigger motion. Okay. From here, using this faster motion and then let it go all the way. Okay? By turning the shoulders, good. Yes. You can, you can lift the right arm a bit higher. Part of the reason why you have limited backswing is your right arm is tight here. Let it go a bit higher here. Okay. It's okay to have a gap here. And also on the way down, uh, the, during the backswing, you are not doing this. Instead, use the momentum. Currently, what you are doing is uh, you are twisting. Yeah, twisting and then just going to this position. Instead, using the momentum, let it go all the way. Huh. The goal is to make a big arc here. Yeah. Let it go all the way. Instead of just uh, flipping and then going to this position. So throw the, throw the club head this way, literally, away and then let, let it go all the way. Uh, turn, the, turn the body enough. Okay, now, stage three again. Use the trigger motion to yeah. develop really active backswing. So give me, give me really fast backswing. Okay, and then give as big, as, uh, as big a backswing as possible. So your focus should be the backswing, not downswing. Okay. Okay. Using the trigger, you have to take advantage of the trigger, and then active backswing. That's the backswing. Mm, you can go faster. No, 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 no. You should do a trigger motion. Just go here and then try to do this. Okay. Mm, turn the body. Turn the body more. Swing. Move, move the body. And then let it go all the way. Drop. Let's say, let's exaggerate this a little bit. So go to the top. Go to the top. And then drop the club head this much here. Okay. Okay. But then if uh, your right arm is uh, stuck here, this hard, yeah, you have to free your right arm a little bit. Give more, back, uh, bigger back swing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then naturally you will have more time there because of, because of the bigger motion. Yes, that's, that's a lot better. So again, your focus shouldn't be on the downswing, but rather it should be on the back swing. Otherwise, uh, it will be hard to uh, reprogram. So. Uh, Mm -hmm. So you have to feel the motion of the club head. Mm -hmm. uh, again, make the back swing even faster. Faster? Mm. The fastest that you can generate. In order to have faster back swing, you have to increase the trigger motion. Mm, still, you're flipping this. Flipping here, that's, a, that's why it stops here. Let it go all the way. Try to extend, right. extend out this way. Move the club head away, yeah, more. And then, using the momentum, let the club go all the way. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
using good trigger and then bring it back again. So what happens is as we age, we definitely lose the flexibility. That means the joint range of motion decreases. But then also at the same time, we have tendency of relying on the muscles yeah. instead of uh, using the range of motion. Still, you have uh, more range of motion allowed it in your body, but you try to use your muscles. Yeah, great. So when you go to backswing, instead of go here about this much and then try to try to flip and then go this position here, then it stops here. Yeah. The right arm, the upper arm should be close to horizontal position here. So that lift something. As if you're holding a tray or something. So with that, let it go this much. Then you can easily reach this position here. Yeah. But if you go here, Always, let's see. So your backswing is the, the main limiting factor. Then you have to really change the way you do the backswing. Okay. So using this, and then by turning the body and then throw the club, have the feel of a throwing the club around your body. Then you'll settle here. Instead of using the arm, try to lift this. Throw, throw the club. Remember, from the beginning, yeah. uh, at the beginning when we did the dance, push out, Push out here. Yeah. So your goal is push out here instead of. Push out and then. Yeah, both ways uh, you have to push out, throw the club out. And, and also, it is uh, better to bring the club a bit higher yeah. than lower here. Okay. Yeah. When you go low, then from this, you cannot go any further. Then you have to lift this up. Mm -hmm. This gives, gives a, a the crossover yeah. alignment. But if you go a bit higher here and then shallow and then let it go, then the plane will be well aligned. Okay. But because you are going too flat from the beginning, and you have to go this here. Bring the clavet a bit higher, and then throw. Like that. Then you will go to this position here. Okay. And then slight shallowing on the way down mm -hmm. will be perfect. Okay. So going a bit higher and then shallowing is no problem, but if you go low, then it causes a lot of trouble. And then on the way down, still just starting the downswing with the arms. Yeah. You go up here and then use down, uh, in the arms here. But the whole purpose is to have a good wind up and then start the downswing with the body motion yeah. and then add the arm motion later instead of starting the downswing with the arms. Well, I, I work on one thing and then the old part of it comes back. Yeah. So always, always when you use uh, active body motion, then yeah. body goes first. Yeah. Body goes first, and then you are adding the arm in club motion here. On the way this, down, the same thing. Body goes first, and then throw the arms. So that's why we want to have a large arc here, yeah. and also large arc here, by adding the arm motion okay. toward the end. Okay. Mm -hmm. Still the same thing. Same the nation. club does not pass the horizontal alignment. Yeah. Still it's here. Yeah. Your upper body motion is not changing. Okay. You still you are leaning this way. Instead of oh, that way. The reverse paper push. Yeah. Your body motion has not changed. That's why you are repeating the same thing. Yeah. And then let, let the club head go more. Yeah, again, it's not about your arm position. Yeah. It's about the club head motion. The club head, if you let it go, it goes here. If you 
maintain this motion automatically goes here. But you are trying to go to a certain body posture here. That's why yeah. instead, let it go the club head all the way here. Okay. Okay, so relax your wrist a little bit. Go a bit easier with your wrist. And then pay attention to the clavet motion. So you have to reach the end of the range of motion yeah. of the body and the club almost at the same time like this. Yeah. But what happens is your body stops first, so it will limit the color motion. Well, maybe my body, I... So I'm not sure it moves any more than that. Mm, you can go more. I can. Yeah. Fold your arms. Fold your arms. And then shift to the right. And the turn. Yeah, on the, way, on the way this way and turn. You are turning more than 90 degrees. Yeah. But the problem is if the upper body is leaning this way, then you cannot really take advantage of this. But so from this, this position, the same turn position, yeah. if you go slightly this way, uh -huh. you have a lot more range of motion here. Yeah. And it will give you natural shift this way yeah. after that. Yeah. But in order to do that, you have to pay attention to the curly head motion and let it go all the way. So, your image, in your image, the, the purpose of the back swing is go as far as possible here. Yeah. Instead of, if your body stops here, then it cannot go any further. Yeah, no, I, I can see it. Mm, the switch is here. So reach out here. So in the back swing, relax your body a little bit. Your body is too tight. Yeah. And your, goal, your goal is to see the club head here. Yeah, because the right arm is uh, stuck here. Okay. That's why it does not allow you to go any further. So remember, it's, remember, it's let stuck it go. down here. Huh? Yeah, it's uh, here, so you cannot go any further. Okay, get it there. Again, let the club head go around your body. Let the club head go around your body. Yeah. So that should be, when you draw uh, something here, then you have to uh, draw the path of the club head all the way here, instead of going to a certain position here. Yeah. So I want it out in here. Hmm. And at this position, yeah. you're not supposed to uh, tighten this arm that okay. much. You're shaking. Yeah, okay. Putting a lot of effort here. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, if, if you continue the motion here, no need to do this. Just let it go all the way, swing, swing. There's no reason to keep it tight like this. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Let it go all the way because the key is the using these muscles and then throw. Go up and then throw, yeah. not holding it here. Okay? Yeah. So relax your arms and then let the club go more. The, here, here. Your elbow is uh, stuck here. Yeah. That's why this it's happens. It's still there? Yeah. So, let's go to about this position here. Okay. Lift this up here. Keep a, keep a gap here. Yeah. But uh, that motion has to be coming from the club head motion. If you just let the club head go, or let the clavet continue its motion, then automatically you'll go to this position. Okay, again, because of the momentum of the club head, if you let the club head keep moving, the automatically you will go to this position here. Okay, maybe with one arm, would that help? I mean, I hmm. Try it with one arm. But 
preserve the uh, clipped motion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Use, using the momentum of the clipped, let it go. Let that clipped go. Is that over the? Is that wrong? It's going too 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 far back. Uh, up higher. Yeah. So let it go. Relax. There. Turn and then here. Okay. Let it go this much. Uh, no need to intentionally lift here. Pay attention to the motion of the clip. Maintain the motion on the same plane. Continue this motion, and then it will go here. No, no, don't try to create anything intentionally okay. with your arm. Okay. Relax with your arm, and then let the club head go all the way here. Yeah. Let the club head go. When you give enough speed to the club head, it will go here. Okay? Let the club head go around your body. Remember, the, the rope, because you, your hand motion cannot manipulate the rope, so the rope goes around. Is that, is that right plane, that mount? Still, it's too tight. Let it go, let it go. Let it go all the way. The arm is too tight. Yes, that much. And then here, as you go there, yeah. instead of just using the arms, you're just trying to use the arms here. Yeah. Use the shoulder turn here. Okay. If you turn the shoulder automatically, you're going. Then you don't have to put a lot of effort with your arms. Hmm. Yeah, feel the motion. Continue, continue that motion. Let the club head go all the way. Yeah. Yeah. Then you can go a lot further. So it's not about your range of motion, but you simply you don't let, let it go. Now, both hands. Both hands, a bit relax, and then again, feel the motion of the club head. Let the club head go all the way. Ah, stopped. Let it go all the way. Wait, wait, wait. Your goal in the back swing is go as much as possible this way. It's not pulling down quickly. Yeah. In the back swing, just to go as much as possible. This is your goal in the back swing. Okay. Then in the down swing, you will bring it down. But as you do the back swing, you're already thinking about uh, going down. Back swing is back swing. Let it go all the way back. Feel the, feel the momentum. Make it faster, faster motion, and then let it go all the way. Yes, again. Turn the shoulder, yeah, turn the shoulder good, and then let it go. That's a, that's a lot better. Yes. Now, using the trigger motion, make it trigger motion a bit bigger. Yeah. Here. <coughs> Excuse me. Using the trigger, develop momentum. Uh, let it go more. Mm -hmm. So good, keep good shoulder turn. Yeah. And then also ease your right arm so that the club can go. Still, you're stopping there. So let it go all the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, feel the motion of the club head. Feel the motion of the club head. Again. Feel the motion of the club head and then let it go all the way. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, let's take a look at it. I can't believe how tight that, I mean, even that, the arm is very tight. Right? Yeah, but this motion is good. It's if you can go this much, yeah, this is a little better. So, Basically, what you need is uh, turn the shoulder yeah. and then let the club go around your body here. You have to allow this and then secure large enough range of motion. Then from there, throw. But if you stop, if you flip it here and then stop here, you are just using the arms. When you are into this position, again, instead of using the arms here, 
use the body, using these muscles and turn the whole upper body, turn it. So that's why we're using the trigger motion, using the trigger, and then with there you can have a really big backswing. But if even with the trigger, in the trigger it's not just the turning here. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> Remember when we dance, we yeah. throw the arm, throw the arm here. The same thing as you do the trigger motion, pushing the ground and then throw the arms out, throw the arms. Instead of just turning here. Mm, not enough, not enough. So make, make your back swing really fast and then go all the way. Try to, try to have faster back swing and then go as much as possible. Okay, now in increase the backswing speed. No, you can, you can do backswing a lot faster than that. Give me, give me the fastest. Yes, very good. Uh, the, the motion was uh, good, but you stopped the club. So using fast motion, they let the club head go all the way. Uh, it was not that fast. It was not that fast. You were directly coming down. Make the faction really fast. Again, as you do fast the back swing, feel the motion of the club head going around your body. Again, now it's getting better. Mm. The backswing can go a lot faster than that. Here, here. Mm. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> In order to go faster, you have to use the right leg and push it, then turn. If you can make backswing fast, yeah. everything changes. Again. So all you need to pay attention to is a faster backswing, large enough backswing. Here. Your back swing can back swing can be this fast here. Okay. When you have this fast motion, automatically you will have large enough uh, back swing. Give me that whipping sound in the back swing. Mm, that's good. Yes. Now you're yeah, you moving. Ah, again, again, you are more focusing on the downswing. Don't worry about the downswing. If you have active backswing, they automatically will have active downswing. Mm. Although uh, the trigger was too big, but. Uh, Give me that kind of backswing. So what happens is in your case, the, in the backswing, the club head is decelerating too early. Yeah. You are putting a lot of effort here, oh. and then it's decelerating too early. Let it go all the way, because the goal is to make a big arc on this side. For that, you have to keep, keep it over there. running the club head and then let it go all the way. Yeah, your effort is too early, and then you are starting the deceleration too early. Okay. I know it's a lot of strings, uh, but um, yeah, it's, it's just a matter of uh, getting rid of that barrier. So in your image, you, are, you should make a big arc on this side in the back swing, right? Yeah. Big arc here. That means that you still have to have a good speed here. Right 
yeah. instead of slowing down too early. Yeah. When you slow down, you will just stop here. But keep running it all the way and then go. Yes. So when, when you have an active backswing, and then try to have a faster speed on this side, then naturally it goes more. Yeah. No, I can feel the difference. I was doing it like I was going to hit it. Didn't so back in here. because in the backswing, this is the whole backswing motion here. Yeah. So let it go all the way, and then make a big arc here, and then stop here. Okay. Mm, and then stop here, instead of weak, and then stop here. Yeah. Weak, no, and then stop here, versus? Look in the stop here. That's the image, okay. the difference. Yes. And then also you have to hold it a bit uh, longer here. Okay. So instead of go up here, and the jumps coming down here. Mm. <clears throat> okay. So in, in, in the downswing, yeah. again, you have to have make a big arc on this side. Yeah. So instead of go here and then just letting it go, yeah. mm. this side here. Yeah. In the backswing, put more effort here. Yeah. In the downswing, try to put more effort here. Okay. Okay? In, in terms of your image. The current what happens is you go up here and then let it go. Go up and then let it go. This is what you're, what you're doing. That's yeah. why uh, the downswing speed is not that high. Mm. Mm. You have to actively turn the body in the downswing. Make a big arc on this side. So both ways. Mm -hmm. Again. Swing, yes. Yes. Now, let me record this and show you. Yeah, in the backswing, I think you're putting too much effort here. That's why you get tired quickly. Okay. Stage three. Ready, stage three, go. Uh, this time the backswing is not that fast. Let's try it again. Active backswing. Again, big arc on the right side in the backswing and the big arc on the left side in the downswing. Ready, stage three, go. Ready, stage three, go. Still, the picture is not that large. Even though you put, you it seems you are putting a lot of effort, but still the club goes about here. And then, well, I mean, it's the the elbow needs to be further. What what are we talking about there? You can drop the club a bit more. Yeah, so going uh -huh. almost, uh, almost. Uh, Almost here, this way. Yeah. And then wait, give more time. Yeah. And on the way down, your goal is to accelerate and then make a big arc on this side. But basically, you are <clears throat> putting effort here and then just let it go. So when I get to this, what starts this is the leg stepping on it, right? Mm. Yeah, so shift the left and then using the left leg, throw the club. Now, Particularly, if you look at on the way down, swing like this, but try to 
go up here and then throw all the way here in one action. Throw all the way. But uh, 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 let's compare this with uh, your initial swing. Still, you will see very di uh, big difference here. Yeah, I'm not even, wow. Oh. So by letting you go, making big arc here, Pexing becomes more active. Yeah, so because the Pexing is faster, you have yeah. more time at the top here. But still you will see that your arm is going. Could you stop yeah. right on that spot? Let me look at it for a second. See your right elbow. Yeah, and it should be almost straight right there? Yeah, the right elbow should go out a little bit here. Oh, right. as opposed to in? Mm. Out. Like this. This way, and then you go oh. to this position. But you always go like this. I, I sp yeah, I spent a long time mm. doing that. Mm. And so... That's why your, it's, it's becomes arm swing. If you just use the body and then let the club head go, then there's no reason to uh, do this. Yeah, okay, so, I think I finally so, so understand yeah, on, on the way back, because your elbow is uh, stuck here, yeah. it limits the range of motion. Well, what about the elbow being in front of the body coming down? There's no problem um, being out here. It has to come in front of your body. And so it will, no and then, matter. And then just a, and so I've always done... No, yeah. this is too much. This is too much. Yeah. When uh, you, you are really relying on your strength, yeah. so those young guys who use uh, the, you know, the muscles a lot, yeah. then they have to do this. Yeah. But in your swing is not fast enough to do this. Yeah. So there's, actually, this will uh, limit your motion. Yeah. So on the way back, if you keep, if you keep the elbow here, yeah. then it limits the range of motion here. Okay. So That's I, why you have to. So I can. Yeah. Okay. Let me try that. Okay. Yeah. I think I can do that. So on the side, uh, it should be prim pretty much aligning the, the two uh, forearms are aligning like this. Yeah. This way instead of. Yeah, I, I've spent a lifetime doing that. No wonder <laughs> I can't stop doing it. Um, so here. Yeah. So using the trigger and then. <laughs> Again, you have to try to do this. Yeah, yeah, but still, still here, you try to lift your arm here. Yeah. Let the club go, and then using the, use the momentum of the club to go all the way. Yeah, still, you try to just go here. Using the arm, you yeah. try to lift the club here. Yeah, yeah. Let it go all the way here. That's why you have to put a lot of uh, effort in your arms. Mm. No, relax, relax, relax here. If you just relax the, let me hold the club. If you relax the arms reasonably, then you can let the club go all the way, continue this motion here. Yeah. But if you use the arms, you already go to this position. Um, right? You're lifting this up with your arms here. Yeah. You're, you're forcing the club motion here yeah. instead of using the momentum. And if you use momentum here, relax your wrist, momentum, the club goes here. Then you will stay close to the swing plane and then throw here and then throw. But if you lift okay. and hold it here, then you have to use your arms. That's why. You have to feel, more than anything, you have to feel the club motion here. You need uh, to maintain certain uh, tension mm -hmm. in the wrist to have neural connection better. But if you hold it too tight like this, then you're killing the motion of the club. So you have to relax your, your wrist to a certain extent and then let the club head go around your body to this position here. Relax here. There's no reason to yeah. hold it tight. That's why you have to, Shaking there. It's going to take some time. Easy, easy, easy. And the, so more than anything, you have to feel the motion of the club. Motion of the, feel, uh, motion of the club and the club head. Mm. 
And then on the way down, you're just letting it go. Okay, but you, you're not really using the wind up here and then throwing the club. Instead, you go up here and then. Yeah. Hmm. So in the in the downswing, I'm gonna make a big arc here. Yeah. So throw all the way and then stand on the left side at the end of the downswing. Hmm. Good wind up in the back swing. Yes. But that alone already you deviated from your initial swing quite a bit. So this is something you have to practice a lot, yeah. intentionally. Let it go all the way here. Yes. And then particularly using the orange whip will be helpful because this is heavier. Yeah. So automatically, if you use the momentum here, it will go more here. Okay. With this, you cannot stop here. So swinging all the way here. So using this. Mm, mm, <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's use this way. Yeah, that one is easier to uh, feel the motion and using the momentum. Stage three. Stage three, stage three. Uh, still, basically your motion is this here. Go up here, this here. Instead, mm, turning the body, turning the shoulder, turning the shoulder, turning the shoulder, turning the shoulder. Remember, throw this way, throw this way. The arm motion is added later. Okay. So the main motion is the body turn and then throw, body turn and throw. Instead of pushing, pushing here. So instead of using the arms from the beginning. So in, in doing that, pay attention to the left arm. Yeah. The back swing, good, wind up here. Yeah. Put the left shoulder in here, from here, throw the left arm out. And when you lose the balance, yeah. there are two reasons when you lose the balance. Okay. One, your gaze moves. Another one is uh, if it's uh, upper body driven, low, when the lower body is passive, swing, nice. this happens. But if active lower body action and throw, then you'll be able to have stable finish. So use the legs more to drive everything, swing, Swing, wait, let it go, wait, wind up, let it go, wait, let it go. Now, that timing is better. It's because this is heavier. Yeah. Now, this one here. Give me a similar time at the top. Imagine that's an orange whip. Swing. Wind up, swing, yes. Wind up, and they have enough time at the top. Wind up, swing, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the key. You have a large enough back swing. Okay, large enough back swing. And then uh, give more time. Yeah. From there, when you let it go, you can use the party better. But if you hold it here and then just to use the arms on the way down, then the back swing becomes smaller and smaller. It's limited here, and then you have to use your arms. So again, okay, so let's have a state three. Good, wind up. Uh-huh, yeah. So the, the key is when you, tr when you have a good downswing, then all you need is have good wind up here and then let it go. If you feel the motion, uh, the, the muscles here, the muscles uh, in the core yeah. and the, the leg muscles, 
when you let it go, when you let it go here, you will feel the tension is building here. Mm, with that tension, let it go. So more than anything, you have to feel the tension in these muscles and then also the hip muscles. Yeah, so the, the, these muscles here. Again, whole upper body is mainly turning. Yeah. Then if you let it go and then good wind up, then you will feel that the, the muscles are connecting here, this line, yeah. that helps uh, the downswing motion. These muscles are elongated here. And with that, you will feel the tension here, tension in these muscles. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then using that muscle, throw. But if you don't feel the tension here, more tension here, that means you're using the arms. Okay. So using the momentum of the whole upper body, turn and then with, with the, this momentum, you will be able to generate this coiling effect here. Let it go, coiling here, and then let it go. Feel the tension. So stage three. So it's all, all about uh, the body awareness. So the, the flow is a, a lot better now, but the key is increasing the backswing speed. Yeah. And with that, go a bit, a bit further so that you can build the tension here. Yeah. That you, can, you are ready to go. <clears throat> and then throw. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay. So the key, I mean, that tension, is that a good key for to start the downswing when the tension's good? Yeah. And um, so when you go to the regular swing, yeah. now the, how, the, how you start the regular swing, that's the key. If you can lower this side yeah. by using the leg, yeah. kick and then turn, yeah. then everything will be uh, really active. But uh, still, uh, you're not using your legs that well. Mm -hmm. So when you start shifting, just, just a shift to the right. Mm -hmm. Shift the right, and then flex the right knee, yeah. and then push the push the right leg, and then turn here. Yeah. yeah. So uh, when you start the backswing, drop the right side, and then push, stand. Hmm. Uh, your arm, your your elbow is uh, still in. You're just going to, to this position. <laughs> so instead of using the momentum. So here, uh, always the, the key is how you start the backswing yeah. here. But um, so a little bit of body action here, and then drop this side. Uh -huh. mm, drop this side, and then push. And that way, you can have a shoulder turn. Mm. So always shift first. Shift away first, and then turn around the right side. And uh, when you turn, yeah. do not sit down here. That's okay. uh, what's happening. Instead of sitting down here, yeah. stand on the right side here, okay. enough. <laughs> so when you go to back, back swing, go here, stand completely on the right side. Tap, 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 tap with the left. You have to put most of the force on the right side here. Yeah. Good support from the right side. Yeah. Okay, this is uh, not bearing that much weight. Most on the right side. Yeah, stand tall on the right side. So using this, mm, mm, and the stand on the right side. And then when you start the downswing, ooh, here, when you start downswing, shift it to the left and then turn around. So that uh, the shift motion should be done uh, yeah. with a good timing here. Yeah. Mm, 
and then shift here. Right. When this is uh, almost completed, and then just having more time here, mm, and then shift here instead of. So it's going up, and if you shift too early, yeah. then the timing is not right. Again, always the key is using the body, you're promoting good curved motion, right? Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. So, mm, mm, mm. you have to time the body motion and the, yeah. the arm and club motion. Sometimes making the sound is uh, helpful. Yeah. So, yeah. Your goal is to move the club head quickly, yeah. but it's not arm driven, yeah. or it's not like this. Yeah, yeah. The body motion and the arm motion not working together. Your goal is to. Mm, mm. Mm, throw out, throw out, throw out, throw out. So here, mm, throw out, swing. Then you'll be able to use the body. So you have the time, the body motion, the color motion. But the bottom line is both ways you have to stand on the right side, stand on the left side, stand on the right side, stand on the left side. See my uh, leg action here. Mm, mm. And also, in your setup position already, your elbow is slightly flexed, and then you are lifting like this. That means you are already making strong statement that you are, you are going to use your arm okay. on the way up. Yeah. Okay. Is well. that, relax, bring it down here, using the body motion, let it go, using the body motion instead of with this here, lifting. I have the arms too much in like yeah. this? You, your elbow is anchored here. Yeah. I guess. No, that's true. So that's why. Okay. Um, okay. But there you go. And so then. So the arms should be a bit away from the body so that nothing obstructs the arm motion. Okay. Instead of anchoring here. Is that okay like that? Hmm. So your arm motion shouldn't be obstructed by the body. Yeah, so when you anchor this, then it will be mostly this yeah, motion. I think I, I, yeah. Mm. All sorts of things that I can. So here in the back swing, left, left forearm, right forearm like this. And then here, the same thing here. Instead of. So if you go, go up here. It's, it should be more, more like this, more like this. So neutral position here, like okay. this, instead of this going here. Okay. And then you're you're going flat here. That's why yeah, it's, it's stopping here. Yeah. You can it cannot go any further because this limits the, the right arm limits the curl motion. So like that, like that. Yeah, about here. You go there, and then when you do the downswing all the way. That the same thing happens uh, like this. Okay. Yeah, this is a straighter. Yeah. Hmm. But the, the bottom line is uh, relax, relax your arms a little bit. Yeah. And then feel the, feel the motion here, the flow here, instead of try to lift the, the club with your arm action only. Yeah. When the body shifts and then throw this versus so when you use the arms, then you are essentially discouraging the involvement of the legs. Instead of going like just like that, shift the first and then throw. Yeah. And then, so 
So shift first and then throw and at the end you're going to this yeah. position here. Yeah. And then let, let it go, let it go in the downstream. Mm. And then still in the downstream you're using this motion here. But instead, mm. so when you lift this high up here, using this throw all the way. And I threw the arms in again. You're using the arms. You essentially have this motion instead of throwing the arms. You know, this is a little bit, let it go. Yeah. This is throw. This is throw. But this is arm driven. Yeah. Turn it. Instead, body-driven turn and throw. Imagine frisbee, frisbee throw. Yeah. So, mm, let it go. So body goes first, body goes first and then throw instead of. And also, on the way down, instead of trying to push this down here, yeah. try to throw this out here from the closed position, turn out. Okay. Turn the left side out yeah. instead of uh, bringing the right side in. So go here from, uh, from this closed position yeah. at once, Open in the throw instead of. That's a, yeah. Then you have to push down. Yeah. Yeah. So, but more than anything, you need to feel the motion of the club. Okay. So relax here. The feel the motion of the club. Mm. Mm. Mm, wait until, so at the end, wait until this motion is completed, start, start here. So essentially, your body motion is promoting good clever motion. Mm, 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 mm. With reasonably relaxed arms. Mm, you're just using the arms here, then swing, arms here. So instead, use the body and then throw out. No, you have to throw it, throw it out, throw it out, using body motion. No, it's, it's not arm motion here. Using the body motion to throw by kicking the ground with the leg and throw, yes. Yeah. Throw out, let it go. Throw out, have time, and let it go. Throw out, time, and let it go. Now, both hands. Both hands. Throw out. Let it go. Throw out. Oh, then uh, the backswing slows down and it became. Yeah. yeah. So the right arm is too tight. Yeah. Then it's going this way, and then it's, uh, the right hand stays low. The right upper arm is against your chest here. With this, you are limiting this motion. And then so you're anchoring the elbow here with this, going this position. Swing, swing, yeah. swing. But not letting it go. And then also throw it. So you have a big arc to make on this side. Uh, but the, with, the, with this, you have increased the backswing size uh -huh. and more time here. So that will give you positive results. But still, it's a, your swing is a, still is an uh, arm-driven swing. Yeah, no, I can. 
Phew. I think you've worn me out. <laughs> it's because <laughs> this is supposed to be not that hard. Yeah. Just relax and continuously swing, swing. But when you use the arms, yeah. you quickly uh, tire yourself. Because you are using smaller muscles. Yeah. Small muscles a lot. So that's the bottleneck. They will ti get tired first. Okay. While your big muscles are still uh, yeah, you know, intact. Yeah. You have uh, these heavy artillery, yeah. cannons and missiles and all these things. But you try to win a uh, war with the rifles only. Okay. That's why uh, you get tired quickly. Yeah. But still, you, you are stronger than me. <laughs> I'm, I'm way out of shape, so, uh, yeah. yeah my, but, you got but because I know how to move, yeah. so it's easier. Yeah. 